Hey all, thank you for joining me on this further adventures of installing a power gas-fired steam boiler. And what you're looking at here is the barometric draft regulator that's um, supposed to be put on for uh, gas-fired equipment. It's a double swing. Um, so that if the flue becomes blocked, uh, normally it's like this when the flue is drawing properly, but if it's blocked, it'll swing out and the hot gases will then be directed on this sensor here, which is resettable, but uh, that'll, this will be wired into the um, low voltage circuit and that'll make it much safer. I've got the uh, uh, patched reasonably well. Uh, I got the uh, water heater uh, going in at the top. This should probably re be redone when this flue is relined, but this is working reasonably well today, so we're going to uh, step away from that for now. Um, we got this uh, refractory cement. We're using uh, as uh, recommended by our uh, chimney sweeps, Champion Chimneys, that we like to use. I'd like to thank them very much for sending me a bucket of that stuff. Let's see if I can get a. Uh, I think that's enough information if you want to uh, order it. It's pretty good. Pretty good stuff so far. I'm going to let it dry overnight and then I'm going to touch it up. So. We've got the low voltage going down. We haven't hooked it up yet completely. We've got the uh, high voltage going in to the unit coming down the gas pipe in. Oh yeah, we've got the gas pipe in. Uh, we got it uh, uh, blocked in from a uh, gas meter over there. It's a little dark, but I think we got another valve there just because. Um, Somebody questioned the use of one of these uh, gas valves, and I just wanted to point out that it does have the marking on there for the CSA, Canadian Standards Association, and the uh, logo C, and then U.S. for the United States. So this is the uh, standard now. I think uh, the American Gas Association, or AGA, is pretty much a gone. Uh, there's more uh, logos there. So this is full port, which is very nice. Most um, gas cocks. Let's see if that's, what's the logo on that one? Uh, that's AGA, which was, uh, was grandfathered. And then there's the Canadian Standards Association logo right next to it. But the uh, CSA stuff um, is a little better because they actually have regulatory authority, whereas other stuff really didn't. So if they don't meet the CSA standards, uh, they'll come and shut you down or, or uh, take care of you uh, if you don't obey. The only uh, the ASA only really had the authority to pull their listing, which wasn't much of a threat if you so. We uh, fired this briefly, and um, the, the schmutz came out to play pretty quickly. Uh, so we shut it down and drained it and refilled it. So we're going to do some, uh, probably do some skimming tomorrow. Um, Frank's going to tie into this box and run the uh, 120 volts up to the VXTs. The VXT is not. Uh, uh, hooked in yet. Um, tomorrow the um, tank removal people are going to be coming sometime around noon and probably be here for a couple hours chopping this bad boy out. I've got some absorbent uh, stuff for them if they so desire. Give them a hand. And so this is going to be going tomorrow. I'll be able to get behind there and work on some uh, rather dodgy uh, um, supports 
There's that one there, which I really don't want to touch. Let's see if you can see it. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, there we are. And then there's one back here, which uh, I'm going to try to do a little better job than that structural solder. <laughs> um, so we'll see how that goes. And uh, talk at you tomorrow, I hope. Um, let's see, I think I've shown everything that uh, people have wanted. So I'm going to sign off. And again, I thank you for your comments and your questions and your concerns. And uh, be well, stay safe, and hope to see you too.